Within this blog, I'd like to discuss the power that we have as consumers in removing the invisibility cloak on the externalities that the food industry produces. The pure distance between the food's origin and the consumer decisions that we're making here in Western countries means that we do not see the consequences and impacts of which product we're choosing. And the lack of information available to us does not guide us on making good, responsible decisions currently. The growth of socially responsible products, however, shows that when we do know, we do care, and we're often, often happy to spend that little bit more money to do the right thing. Think Tom's Shoes or fair trade products. However, irrespective of price, we're also prepared to boycott products when we know that they have a high damaging impact, especially on poor rural communities. However, there are a multitude of products on the market that do reduce social capital, they do reduce environmental quality and often economic capital to those small local communities through unsustainable practices. But we just don't know who they are. And without this transparency of information, they will continue to operate. Solution? Compulsory impact assessment and display of the results on products. Sounds extreme, but arguably we need to be extreme in order to combat climate change and look to a more sustainable future. I think this impact could be done in terms of a unit amount, so whether that's a tonne of CO2 or another common shared resource, or maybe there are even a unit of ecological services. So on each product it would say produce 10 tonnes of CO2, or this one would be two, and maybe we could come up with a way of, you know, not quite colour coding, but putting a scale and a perspective of what that actually means in terms of the product you're buying. Could this create a model where we choose products based on cost, quality and externality value? For example, when you go into the supermarket to say buy a jar of peanut butter, if you saw one that was green in terms of externalities and one that was red, how would this affect you? Would you really pick the one that's disadvantaging other people? I don't think we would. And I think current consumer decision trends are showing that we're willing to make those decisions when we have the right information.